Moshe Rabbeinu leaves to free the Jewish people, the Yidden, from their servitude, from their slavery in Egypt, the Pesach says, Vayarkivim al Hamor, that he puts his family on a donkey. This is very surprising. Moshe Rabbeinu was desperate to save the Yidden. Every single moment that they were enslaved, another Jew was suffering and being abused. So couldn't they choose a more efficient animal? A horse gallops between 40 and 50 miles an hour. A camel, perhaps around 30 miles an hour. A donkey averages 15 miles an hour. But it goes even further. Because the ultimate Mashiach says in Novi Zechariah, he'll be Reichev al Chamor. Mashiach will yet again be riding on the slow donkey. Asks Imri Emes, why? 21st century, put Mashiach on a Mustang, a Corvette. Let him get us out already. A donkey tarries. A donkey delays us. Why a donkey? Says the Halik Imri Emes. Because there may be a Jew who's not Roy, who's not fit yet. There's a Jew who's on the fence. There's a Jew who's struggling. He's got to choose Kedusha versus Tumah, holiness versus contamination. He's got to choose Ruchnius versus Gashmius, spirituality versus physicality. Roy Chival Hamar, you know what it means? Hamar means from the word Chaymer, physicality, Gashmius, pleasure. Roy Chayv means that there's a person out there who's going to choose to subjugate, to vanquish, to conquer the choice of physicality and say, I want Kedusha. I want purity. I want holiness. Yes, I'm challenged. Yes, I'm tempted. But I'm going to make the right choice. I'm going to be Roy Chayv Alachamor. And that's why Mashiach is on a donkey. Because it could be. There ought to be one person, and just as Mashiach is about to come, he's going to forsake that person, that person to be left behind. But the donkey goes slow, and that person has one last chance to choose the Kedusha, to choose holiness. And then Mashiach will capture him and bring him for the ride. Let's bring Mashiach through Ruchnius, through spirituality, through Kedusha, through holiness, through making that right decision, that single right decision at that right time, not to look.